I bet. It looks like you've hit the jackpot again today. There's hardly any Christmas mail rush because of the snow. Ah, oh, that's a pity. I really don't mind being outside in the snow. Well, I do. Snow's for looking at, not for walking through. Take it easy out there today. Good morning! I wasn't the only one that noticed all that white stuff lying around. A P.O. positive pet thieves about snow to last me a lifetime. Don't let that stop you from calling in new ones. My answer machine can handle it. Christmas gift? Here's hoping. Hey, Beth. How are you on this fine day? Thomas, hi. Well, business as usual. No, I'm just joking. The situation is not that dire. <laughs> Really? So no Mildred rummaging for discounts today? Well, I'll tell you, she was actually in here just now. I sold her a beautiful 1986 calendar that had kittens wearing mittens on the front. <laughs> I kid you not. I wasn't even aware that was part of my inventory. Besides Mildred, there's been an odd customer or two today, and would you believe, one of them was even looking for a full set of encyclopedias. <sighs> Never knew you had a clone walking around out there. <laughs> well, that certainly would be something, wouldn't it? There wouldn't be enough books to discuss or wine to consume. By the way, did you know that the world's largest encyclopedia was created in 15th century China and comprised about 11,000 books? Isn't that fascinating? Imagine having to load that into your car. I'm starting to relate. I'm still holding this delivery. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Well, come here then. Put it on the counter. How's Emily coming along with Christmas dinner, by the way? I can imagine she's pretty excited about Meredith coming over. So let me know if she needs any more cookbooks. I've got this beauty from Good Housekeeping that's all the rage right now. I'll be sure to ask her. But you know how Emily gets in the kitchen. There'll be so much food, we'll be eating stuffing all week. I suppose you're right. But don't you worry, I'll leave the cookbook. I have a feeling St. Nicholas has other things in store for you this year. <laughs> ah, looking forward to it already. As well you should. And what does St. Nick have in store for you this year? Doing anything special? I'm flying out to Georgia tomorrow to spend Christmas with my Daniel and his wife for a few days. We're planning a Hawaii Five-0 marathon. It's my guilty pleasure, and luckily it's theirs too. Ah, Dano. Give him my best when you see him. And his wife, of course. I shall. Right. I better get back to it and get ready for the New Year's sale. I've been in a perpetual fight with my pricing gun lately, so I need all the time I can get. And good things come to those who wait. I'll bring over your presents later in the week. I hope you have a Merry Christmas Eve tomorrow, and give my love to Emily and Meredith. Will do. And season's greetings to you two.
Okay, let's get this to its destination. Hello, Angie. Long time no see. Uh, one package for you today. Thanks, Thomas. How's Emily? Uh, she's very busy. The motel's chronically understaffed. Ah, yes. This must be busy season at the motel. I do like it when out-of-towners come to visit our little hamlet. Especially when they like movies. <laughs> Apparently most of the rooms have been fitted with VCRs now. Should be good for business. So, what do we have here? Oh, right. Uh, you okay there, Angie? It's just some things from LA. <sighs> Toiletries, stuff like that. I, um, recently ended my relationship. Angie, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It was my decision, and it was the right decision. The long distance thing just wasn't working out. Still, seeing your spare toothbrush, that shampoo bottle, a stick of deodorant, it just makes it so definite, you know? Like, the LA chapter of my life is now finally completely closed. Sounds like you're dealing with it like a champ, though. How did your ex take it? My ex-girlfriend, you mean? Yeah, she's handling it okay. Other than the passive-aggressive shipping of toiletries, I guess. <laughs> oh, did you... not know? <laughs> well, surely it's none of my concern. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly something I walk around advertising around here. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've seen you blush. Breaking up right before Christmas Eve must be extra tough. Yeah, that does add to the melancholy. Timing isn't exactly my strong suit, I guess. Well, I'll leave you alone with your thoughts. And your spare toothbrush. Merry Christmas, Angie. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Thomas. My toothbrush and I bid you adieu. Fancy handwriting on this one. Jesse used to live. I 
remember once Meredith came home from school after learning about walnuts. Another satisfied customer. Unless it's Bill's. Hi, Ben. Got a pretty hefty package here for you. Ah, uh, thanks, Thomas. I've been waiting for that one. Hi, Mr. W. Please, please, please tell me the mail truck needs a tune-up. <laughs> hey, Lori. I didn't know you'd already begun working here. Weren't you supposed to start in January? Yeah, she pestered me into allowing her to start a week early. Already put snow tires on half the town's vehicles. At this rate, I can retire before the end of next summer. But this truck's fine, Lori. I gave it a checkup for Frank less than ten days ago. Ah, are you sure there's nothing I can improve on the old um? What do you call this thing again? I just call it the mail truck, actually. Uh, boring. We need to come up with a better name than that. Tell you what, Lori. Maybe you can check out the car horn. It sounded a little off last time I checked. The horn, eh? I'm on it! That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Mr. W. Diaphragm had gotten a little dusty, but it's all better now. The mail truck is honking like a big old goose again. Thanks, Lori. Come to think of it, I will be calling your truck the Goose from here on out. Big, white, wobbly, and with a honking great horn. Honk honk! The Goose has a nice ring to it. Or a nice honk, anyway. Well, gotta be getting back to my rounds. Happy holidays, you guys. Thanks, Thomas. You too.
and parcel. <laughs> Hi there, Mr. Mailman. Got anything for me today? Hello, ma'am. Just one parcel. Thank you, sir. It's true what they say about mail carriers and snow. They hate it and long for the summer? No, that it makes them look even more handsome in their uniform. <laughs> Why, thank you, ma'am. That's a nice way to start the week. Oh, I better get there, Sonny. I'll see you tonight. Oregon Trail Motel, how may I help you? Hello? Hey, Dad. <laughs> Meredith! Are you all packed for tomorrow? Um... Meredith? Dad, I'm so sorry, but I won't be able to make it tomorrow. What's wrong? What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Don't worry. But I'm just... I'm snowed under, with work. It's added 86. It needs to be up and running at the start of the new year. I stumbled upon some errors today, and now we need to fix them this week. This sucks. That's such a bummer, Em. But uh, I, I understand. Thanks, Dad. I'll make it up to you, I promise. We've all worked so hard this year. Can't squander it all in the last week, right? Hey, 
You're right, Meredith. Christmas is just a few days. Your career lasts a lifetime. Have you told your mom yet? Yeah, I just called her at the motel. Oh, someone's calling. It must be your mom. Okay, well, that's my cue. Gotta get back to it. I'll call again soon, Dad. Love you. Hey, Em. Is that you? If by Em you mean Emily, then yes. If you mean Em for Meredith, then no. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my other Em, so I was pretty sure it was you. <laughs> oh, Thomas. Don't joke around as if nothing's wrong. I know, Em. I don't know what to say. Well, just deal with it, like we always do. Why don't we invite someone else? Unless you're happy with just Mildred coming over. Just Mildred? You might as well go for rock bottom and ask Nancy to. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'd love to hear them bicker about the cat food assortment at the general store. In any case, I'll call Beth and ask her again, too. And then I have to do a towel run, refill the vending machine, and vacuum the reception area. So it'll be a while before I'm done. I'll see you tonight, honey. Okay, Em. Drive home safe. Find a new partner. Oh, uh, come on, Chief. You know I don't need nobody's help. He's from Germany. Hamburg, to be exact. A German? Oh, for Christ's sakes. Stop complaining, Fries, and go pick up that hamburger from the airport. <laughs> 